Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about lines and planes. All right, so let's talk about the definition of a plane. A plane is a surface such that if any two points on the surface are connected by a line, all the points of the line are also on the surface of the plane. All right, so let's take the example below in red and the line that runs through this wavy diagram. And I'm not sure if you can kind of picture this as just a wave of paper um, or something else you can imagine that runs up and down. And I have a line that runs through several points, but not the entire wavy figure. So this wavy red figure is not a plane because a plane is a surface such that if any two points in the surface are connected by a line, all the points of the line are also on the surface of that plane. And you can see that there are uh, areas where I have part of the line that are not going to be part of the surface of the plane. So an example of a plane where I have a line on the plane and the plane is determined by this line is going to be below. I have this plane here, let's call it plane M, and I have a line, let's call it line L. Line L is on the plane, plane M. And uh, the plane surface is such that if any two points in the surface are connected by a line, line L, then all points of the line, all points of line L are also on the surface of plane M. And the second thing you need to know about a plane is it just has two dimensions. So it has uh, length and width, but no depth, right? And the plane extends indefinitely in two directions or multiple directions um, in the length and width wise direction. So it extends indefinitely width-wise and it extends indefinitely length-wise. Uh, so it's an infinite, has infinite value in terms of length or width, but it has no value in terms of depth. All right, secondly, let's talk about coplanar and non-coplanar. Points, lines, and segments that lie on the same plane are going to be uh, coplanar. Points, lines, and segments that don't lie on the same plane are gonna be called non-coplanar. Right, so if I have line L here, and then I have another line, let's call it line P, line L lies on uh, plane M, and let's say that uh, L and P do not intersect, then line L and P are not coplanar. Uh, now, if line L and P are, do intersect, then we'll learn later that line L and P lie on the same plane, but it's not gonna be plane M. So in this case, I have two lines, they don't intersect. They're skew lines, and they're gonna be non-coplanar. Uh, additionally, I might have uh, several points, some of which are on a plane, and some of which uh, are not on the plane, and we can say that those points are gonna be non-coplanar. Now, it's hard to draw that when I'm drawing in a flat uh, plane surface. Uh, but let's just say that if I have four points, they can be <clears throat> non-coplanar. Um, I can have segments that are non-coplanar, and I can have lines that are non-coplanar as I exemplified by P and L. All right, next definition is what's called a foot, and the foot is just the point of intersection between a line and the plane that the line intersects. So if I have a line that intersects, it goes right through the plane, then it creates a foot or a point of intersection between the line and the plane. Now this line can only create one foot in the plane. If it happens to touch the line or touch the plane in more than one spot, then I know that this line is going to be part of the plane itself. Right, there are four ways to determine a plane is a plane. And the first is that if I have three non-collinear points, so let's stress non-collinear, if I have three non-collinear points, they determine a plane. So I have three here non-collinear points, they determine a plane. Now if I have three collinear points, and this would be it's difficult to visualize, but I can take a plane figure, let's say that uh, has an edge that runs through those three points, and then I can rotate that plane figure in 360 degrees around those three points and create an infinite number of planes by rotating that plane figure around, keeping the edge uh, on the three points, but rotating that plane figure around that edge. 
in a circular manner. And so I can create an infinite number of planes based on three collinear points. But if I have three non-collinear points, then that flat figure cannot rotate around those three points without missing one of the plane, points in the process. Second way to determine a plane is a plane is if I have a line and a point that's not on a line. Third is if I have two intersecting lines. And the last is if I have two parallel lines. Now if I have two skew lines, then the two skew lines do not determine a plane. So two intersecting lines, two parallel lines, a line at a point not on a plane, and three non-collinear points. All right, finally, if a line intersects a, a plane not containing it, meaning the line is not encompassed or completely on the plane, then the intersection is exactly one point. So we go back to this example here. I have a line that passes through the plane at one point called a foot. Then I know that the intersection is exactly one point, and we know that point is called the foot. And finally, if two planes intersect, their intersection is exactly one line. So you can see here by this diagram, I have two planes. Let's call this plane M and plane N. And I'm going to shade in plane N here. And then I also have plane M, and I'm going to shade in that plane here. I can see the intersection is this line. All right, so if two planes intersect, their intersection is exactly one line. All right, so let's go through a couple questions just to help you familiarize yourself with uh, lines and planes. So I have two planes, N and M. And let's go through some of the questions. Intersection of plane M and N. So the intersection of plane M and N is going to be ray AB. So this ray that extends this way. Now remember, in a plane, it's not like a glass plate. It extends in those two directions indefinitely. So I'm creating a ray AB. All right, A, B, and V determine plane what? A, B, and V determine plane M. Because I have three non-collinear points, they determine plane M. All right, let's name the foot of the ray RS and M. So I have RS, RS, and M. The foot is going to be the point of intersection, which is P. Number four, ray AB and RS. So ray AB and RS determine what plane? Well, I know they're going to determine plane N. So I have two intersecting rays or lines that determine a plane. In this case, it's going to be plane N. Number five, ray AB and point in question mark determine plane N. So I have ray AB and a point in question mark determine plane N. All right, so it has to be three non-collinear points. So I can say AB and then point R. So AB and R are three non-collinear points on N. <clears throat> Uh, so I have a line and a point not on the line R. Uh, number six, does W lie in plane N? Does W lie in plane N? All right, and the answer to that is no. <clears throat> w does not lie in plane N. It lies in plane M. Line AB and line what determine plane M? So AB and VW determine plane M. So remember, if I have two intersecting lines, and those two intersecting lines determine a plane. Number eight, A, B, V, and what point are coplanar points? So A, B, V, and W are going to be coplanar points. A, B, V, and R are going to be non-coplanar points. Right? A, R, and B are coplanar, but A, R, B, and V are not going to be coplanar points. And last, if R and S lie in plane N, so R and S lie in plane N. What can be said about RS? Well, if RS, R and S lie in plane N, then we know line RS is also in plane uh, N. And what can be said about RS? Oh, I just said that. Line RS can be, I'm sorry, ray RS can be uh, uh, determined or uh, found in plain N. And that's it. Why don't you come and join us for a couple problems on relating lines to planes in the next edition of Otten Math.